Yo, what up, what up, what up? DJ Spain Rockin', this is in yo grill. Yo, check me out, hit that subscribe, hit that like button, and leave some comments below. What up, everybody? DJ Spain Rock in yo grill, coming at you with another one. Talking about this is the topic today. This is what I want to talk about, and I know everybody has been through this. And what I want to talk about is people that talk too goddamn much, but when it's your time to finally say something, them motherfuckers won't listen. You understand what I'm saying? I know y'all been through this. If you haven't, shoot me now. Yes, people that talk too much, but when it's time for you to talk, they do not want to listen. Ain't that some shit? Man, have you ever? I know you, I know, I know. All right, let's, let's try this one. Let's try this first one here. And I know you, most people have been through it. You ever get somebody, you could be just chilling somewhere. You get somebody that comes up to you out of nowhere, never seen them from a can of paint, and just comes up to you and starts talking. Sometimes it could be the nice person. Sometimes it could be the more uh, 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 in the middle person, not too nice, not too aggressive, just right in the middle. And then you have the aggressive ones. But let's just say a nice one, okay? They come up to you and they start talking, which is very friendly. Okay, cool. Everybody's not friendly, but hey, if you're a decent, nice person, okay. You're like, hey, how you doing? Okay, they start talking, crack a few jokes. And then after that initial 10, 15 seconds, it's like, in your head, you're like, okay, you might be there waiting on a your Uber or waiting on a cab or waiting on a bus. Or hell, you might be waiting on somebody that's in the store that you done dropped off or, or sitting there waiting on to come out the store or some shit. And somebody just come out there and start talking. And they talking. And like I said, the first 10 to 15 minutes, you're like, okay. And you're thinking in your head, you, you're carrying on a conversation, but you're thinking in your head, okay, I wish this motherfucker leave me alone because I really don't feel like being bothered. You ever had that time, that moment where you just do not want to be bothered and you really don't feel like talking, you got shit on your mind, and really you would rather just chill and listen to and listen to your uh, 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 songs on the radio or some shit or listen to your iPod or whatever the fuck you got. But anyway, and they're steady talking, they're talking, they're talking, and they carry on a conversation, and they keep talking, and right when you say, hey, okay, now, all right, you know, you try to change the subject, and you try to uh, get away, and they start talking some more. I know I mentioned this on my show, if y'all listen to my show, so y'all know that I've mentioned this before, but I just had to bring this up, and I just had to bring up, you know, several, several different uh, uh, scenarios, because I know, you know, many people have been through many different ones so I just got to talk about it and anyway so you sitting there and they're still, they're still talking they, their lips are just going they're yapping and they're yapping and they're yapping and you're just like when they please shut the fuck up you know what I'm saying and then you, you try to get away you're like okay alright well whew, I gotta go in the store now wait on my partner to come and he's taking too long so I need to go and uh get them they'll be like ha ha and make up a whole nother conversation based off what you just said it's like they know you want to leave the conversation and they know you really don't want to talk to them. But they have something in their head that says, I'm going to use my talking skills to keep talking to this motherfucker just to aggravate his ass or her ass on purpose because I'm miserable. You see that people that talk a lot, are they miserable? Do they just like to hear themselves fucking talk? What is it? I mean, don't get me wrong. I can get a cup of drinks in me. And I can start going on and on about some shit that I'm into. You know, like some porn or or food or some music, you know? But it is what it is. But most of the time, I'm a pretty quiet person, you know, for the most part. But it is what it is. You have your quiet people. You have your people that talk a little bit. Then you got the motherfuckers that just don't never shut up. And y'all know who the hell I'm talking about because you probably got one of those people on your job. Let's go to the job fence. You have one of them people on the job. You just have that one motherfucker that you see in the morning, you just be like, oh, shit, there you go. Especially, like, if you're if they're not even in the same department as you, but you know you're going to run across them sometime that day, 
especially around lunchtime. Around lunchtime, you know, you're doing your thing. Most of the time, most jobs, you only get 30 minutes, between 30 to an hour. But if you ain't got number 30 minutes, you want to eat your food if you brought some, and because it's hard as hell to go try to buy some in 30 minute time frame. But you want to eat, do your thing, call your peoples up, holler at them real quick, maybe text, play a game on your phone, and you know, maybe conversate a little bit, but then your break is over, go smoke a cigarette if you smoke, you know, drink your water, your juice, whatever. But then you get this one motherfucker five minutes before you got to go in. They come up and want to start talking. And just the, the type of people that you be, you dread to see, when you see them, it's like, oh, shit. Oh, there you go. Oh, damn, there you go. And they walk up and you be like, hey, all right now, how you doing? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I see you over there. Yeah, I see you this weekend. I did. I, did. I didn't want to say nothing because I thought you was with your family. And then as soon as you say that, they start talking about their family and their daughter and their son and ask you how yours is doing and just be like, did you do such and such, what you said you was going to do? I'm like, damn, how the fuck do you even remember that? And, you know, just those type of people that keep going and keep going and keep going, like, okay, I got to go back to work. And they just keep talking anyway. You're walking back to your cubicle or walking back to your job site or whatever you're doing and they're still talking. That's the type of people that I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. And I know it's plenty of them. And most of them, they're nice people. But all I can say is, think about the next person when you're talking to them. Keep the conversation short. I can understand if you're getting into a real heated conversation and you're really into it, like, yeah, such and such, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, hell yeah, I remember that shit, nigga. I can understand that type of conversation where both y'all are into it, but I don't like those conversations where you see, like, for instance, okay, I'll give you an example. Went to the store, go buy a couple of brewskis. I was off work that day. Uh, I was chilling, doing my thing, had some business to handle. So I walked in the store, like, man, I'm gonna give me a couple of refreshing drinky drinks. Just didn't have any more juicy bears. So I said, I'm gonna go to the store and give me a couple of drink drinks. So I'm at the store and I'm getting my drink drinks. And I see this person, I know him, but not personally, hell, I don't even know his name. But like every couple of times a year, you just run across him, and it's the same shit every time they talk to you. And you always talk about, you always try to end the conversation, I'm like, yeah, man, yeah, well, you know where I stay, what? you know where I stay at, man? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got my number, man, be up some time. Really, you know, I'm a nice person, so I'm like, Really in my head, I'm like, uh, why the hell am I just, why am I telling him this? No, I don't want this motherfucker calling me or coming to my house. But anyway, he starts to conversate. Hey, what's up? What's up, man? You know what I'm saying? What's going on, man? You still into that music, man? I'm like, oh, Lord, here we go. I'm like, yeah, kind of, sort of, but not really. I'm like, yo, I'm getting my DJ on. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really recording like that no more. Why did I say that? Oh, he goes into a whole freaking conversation. Yeah. 20 seconds turns into a minute, two minutes, three minutes. As soon as you know, five, six minutes then went past. He's still talking. And we at the counter. People like, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I'm like, wow. In my head, I'm really not even talking. But in my head, I'm thinking the whole time, looking at his face. Like, damn, dude, are you really still talking to me? And people trying to get through here to pay for their shit? Man, if you don't leave me the fuck alone. But I'm not one of them type of guys. I'm not an aggressive guy. But I think after a few pushes, you're going to push back. And I was tempted to say, motherfucker, if you don't shut the fuck up. But like I say, I'm not that type of person. So I just try to nicely weave my way out of the conversation so after about 10 minutes <laughs> i was like look man <laughs> had to get kind of aggressive i said look man i understand what you're talking about I'm not dealing with them young boys no more I'm not doing this not doing that so if you want a dj gig i'll have you i can hook you up give you a discount gotta go See you when I see ya. Just to let y'all know, that didn't work. He started up another conversation. But anyway, you understand what I'm saying? Know y'all people done been through it. I know y'all been through it. Man, 
you ever been with a female? Let's, let's, let's give you a third example. You ever been with a female? You trying to date her? Y'all are talking, having a good time. You know, when y'all first, that, that first conversation, that first date, that first get up, whatever you want to call it, you're chilling, you're doing your thing, y'all talking. Yeah, girl. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you got your mom and daddy? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Are oh, they good? Okay, what about you? Have brothers and sisters? You know, finding out little shit about each other. But you ever had that female that just will not shut the fuck up in the conversation? That doesn't let you talk at all? And my main reason for talking about this is finally after all that shit, she or he done talk, they done talk, your head hurting, you need some Advil, some Aleve or some shit, you need a drink, they done did all that talk in 30, 40 minutes, and then when you get ready to say, well, let me tell you my story, them motherfuckers don't want to listen, they change the subject on your ass real quick, don't listen to shit you talking about, you care less about what you got to say after they done beat your motherfucking head down for 30, 40 minutes talking about absolutely nothing, knowing you had somewhere to be. And if you're talking to somebody you're trying to get with, same difference. You're trying to be nice. Oh, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, girl, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, girl, for real? I ain't know that. Oh, shit. That's all you said. Oh, shit, damn, ha, huh? it's fucked up. Oh, shit. And they just talking, and they talking, you like, damn, I hope this puts good. If, if this bitch give me some pussy, I'm hoping she give me some pussy, because the bitch talk too damn much, and he put something in the mouth. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, something wrong with you, and you ain't lived on the planet Earth. But, yo, this is what we're talking about today people that talk too goddamn much and when it's your time to talk to them they don't want to hear it and at backwards you tell them two words they change the subject on you can't stand it can't stand it can't stand it stay away from me and that is my pet peeve for the day <laughs> dj spade rock baby in your grill and the topic of the day is people that talk too goddamn much, but when it's your time to say something, they don't want to listen. Hey, drop the comments below, hit that subscribe, and give me a like or a dislike. Doesn't matter. As long as you checked it out, baby. Hit me up. Check out the Spade Rock Show. Check out previous episodes. We got one coming for you real soon. Some good interviews and all that good stuff. So once again, hit that subscribe. Leave some comments below. DJ Spade Rock in your grill. See y'all next time. Yeah, y'all.